Hey metal clayers, this is Pam East and this is my contribution to faux pas Friday. It's not really a faux pas. It's just an example of you try stuff and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, this is, uh, I decided to give a shot at anodizing. Uh, I made this anodizing solution with, uh, it's made out of lye and sulfur and um, and then you apply electricity to get the anodizing effect. If anybody wants more information on how to do that, let me know. I, I just, I'm thinking it's probably more trouble than it's worth. So the idea here is you apply the, the electricity to the piece and then you put the negative on here and you get, hopefully you can see this, it, it kind of instantly colors the thing. And, um, and supposedly you can get some nice rainbow effects. I got a really nice rainbow on this one. Um, so, you know, very quickly um, I was able to get this rainbow effect using this anodizing technique. Now, the thing is, I've gotten just as good effects with liver of sulfur with a fraction of the effort that went into this. <laughs> um, and I, the only reason that I would have to do this over using just liver of sulfur is if it's more durable. And I don't think it is. Um, hang on, let me try again here. Let's see if I can get a little color on this one. Um, I don't know if my hands are in the way when I do this. I can't really see what I'm doing when I film myself. Um, so, uh, see, it just wiped right off. I don't think it's any more durable. I don't think it's any more durable than liver of sulfur. Um, I did I did this piece and I got a good little rainbow on it. And then I used a polish cloth um, to bring up the highlights. And it cleaned off just as easily as when I do liver of sulfur. So, not a faux pas, but, you know, you just try things and you, to see how they're going to work. And... In this case, it's like, does it work? Yeah. Do you want to really play with highly caustic chemicals when you can do this just as easily with liver of sulfur? Probably not. Um, so that's my contribution for the day and uh, have a good one.